has been a really long time now till we had seen and heard more from this really promising hardcore zombie game. Last time we saw more of it was through its official gameplay demo but since then a lot of things have changed. And in a positive way 100% this is Project Z and let's get right away into the new details that we've been given by the developers as well as why the future of Project Z is looking brighter than ever. Now first of all thanks to all of you guys support throughout the month after the game's initial reveal. These devs got their games seen by millions of people and so they were now able to partner with Modest Games, a renowned game publisher that will push the founding of Project Z to the top and allow the devs to create the game they wanted from the beginning. And also hire experienced industry veterans which is super good news. The players in the game can expect two modes, the game's primary mode which is the story co-op mode or single player and the horde mode inspired by COD zombies. If the players jump into the story mode, they will experience a mysterious story about a fictional island and a lot of projects that the Germans worked on during the war that were never truly established. Those projects are not limited to zombies. The island has way more secrets to discover, such as weather manipulation, radioactive research, etc. They said. All those projects left their own mark on the island, and the people there and the players will feel that throughout the whole game. Besides the story, the player has to deal with all of his idle tasks, such as building shops, recruiting NPCs, which he can find on the missions that he do, finding food, water, electricity items, and in general, everything to not let his people die inside this hideout, because without them he cannot upgrade, build or sell his items since the player has to apply those NPCs to the shop to get to use them. The story mode offers so much more than this, they said to me, but if the devs would tell me everything, the video would be 30 minutes long, they said. However, they think with the game's design, they have a great mix of Escape from Tarkov, Left 4 Dead and Fallout Shelter mechanics. The Escape from Tarkov players can fully concentrate on doing free roam missions to find building materials, items, weapons, and other essential objects and upgrade them to be better equipped while experiencing the world's design. The Left 4 Dead players can fully experience the co-op story and play through an incredible and straightforward storyline, while the Fallout Shelters players can have a lot of fun with all the resource management features in the hideout, so there is a thing for everybody here. They tried their best to let people know that they are not a COD zombie clone, since the primary game mode is the game's main focus, which is the story. Therefore, the whole mode is just a tiny side game mode completely detached from the primary mode that the players can play just after a long game session. The first thing the devs felt after getting their publisher modest games was a better structure throughout the entire team since they now have a fully planned out game design, development timeline and the money to develop the game full time without worrying too much about their financials. That also allowed them to hire incredibly talented people who worked on games like L Let Loose, Killing Floor 2 and etc. They also heard several people expressing concern with the free to play model that could potentially lead to over monetization. They're saying they take their community's feedback very seriously and are really grateful for all of the input of the people in the comments. They are right now evaluating all monetization options and will make an announcement as soon as they decide what's best for the game. However, they are super excited about the future of Project Z and they know that you will too. For more on this game, like the video right now and subscribe to stay tuned. Looks like our people are cleaning the coast already. What the fuck are they shooting? An entire island.